Alright, let's watch what is apparently an absolute banger here called Exploring Mahoyo, the past and present. This was done over a year. Motherfucker! So this was August 2021. This was a long time ago, dude. This was a year ago. And I have no idea what this is actually about. So, but it is Akasho, and Akashot's vids are fucking phenomenal. So let's have a look. Akasho, explain to us about Mahoyo the past and present, please. Did you please. hear that? No. This time, we need to go even deeper. Deeper? Like the chasm? I'm here. Hello? How? Okay, so basically everybody that is a Zuma has already clicked off the video at this point. <laughs> Bro. <laughs> Nobody nowadays would watch through this. TikTok has destroyed people's brains, which sucks. People wouldn't sit through this intro. Okay, what is this? A portal? Am I going to meet GLaDOS? Are you sure about this? Yes, I'm sure about this. Initiating sequence to... 2012. Good luck. Meow. School. School is great. No, it's, it's not. It's where you learn. The more you learn. Knowledge. The more you earn. What am I earning? Knowledge. Knowledge. What do you with knowledge? And I'm. And I'm? And I'm the best person to ever exist. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It's 2012. The world is ending, the crops are burning, and everything is going to shit. Society was in chaos, and news of our impending doom spread like wildfire. Spoiler. Do y'all remember this, by the way? Does anybody in chat actually remember this going on? I was in school, and I remember a, the apparent exact time and date for the, uh, what, what was it, the Mayan calendar or something? We were all stood in, like, the atrium of school, dude, and everyone was like, oh my god, doomsday, oh my god, doomsday, the world's gonna end, the world's gonna end in three minutes, the world's gonna end in three minutes, bro, I was just sat there, I was like, what the fuck is wrong with you? And they were like, no, 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 seriously, seriously, sit down, sit down, brace, brace, brace for impact, I'm like, bro, where, where it's fucking, look, the fucking sky, it's, it's a nice sunny day outside. Three minutes passes, just nothing happens, dude, nothing at all, everyone just goes on with the day acting like nothing happened, I'm like, bro, you ain't ever living that down in my fucking head, ain't no shot. We all died back in 2012. True. <laughs> yeah. Except for three Chinese postgraduates from the Shanghai Jiao Tong University. Their okay. Their plan to save the world, cure for cancer, sustainable energy, no, reverse Genshin engineering impact. immortality. Well, maybe all deleting the, all Twitter. Those games. No. Cute anime girls. I would argue cute anime girls and deleting Twitter almost had a pretty similar impact, to be honest. Both are pretty great. Both would be pretty good. Back in 2011, before MiHoYo was officially established, Liu Wei and two of his friends were in a business startup competition. They had to pitch their business to investors for a chance to win a cash prize or investment capital. The higher you This is how this is how Hoyova started? You place, the bigger the rewards. They were a three-man team who shared an interest of otaku culture and ACG, which stands for animation, comics, and games. And let me tell you, the boys went into the competition with a plan. Yo. Convert everyone there into weebs. <laughs> Our core product is an anime-themed mobile game. Okay. It is a gameplay on smartphones or tablets based on anime-style characters. As the characters are mainly cute anime girls, this kind of game is popular among the Opaku. Is that Dr. Phil's voice? <laughs> Therefore, our core users are Opakus. We understand Opakus because we ourselves are Opakus. Besides the interesting game point, gamers can develop their own virtual characters and also their virtual items. Fuck you! Fuck you, fuck you! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what to the fuck is this web of shit? Okay. Maybe the last part might be a little bit exaggerated, but okay. I don't know what's more surprising. The fact that he really said cute anime girls in a <laughs> business startup tournament. Yeah. Or the fact that he got third place. Around the same time. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> Wait, that's incredible, dude. Wait, they got third with that? Wow, did they get money for that? Was that like first, second, and third place prizes? Time as a tournament, MiHoYo made their first game titled Fly Me to the Moon. Mm -hmm. It was only available on the App Store for iOS 
and the last update was uh let's just say it was a couple weeks ago so unless you got one of these bad boys oh my god even... bro i remember these old iphones where the youtube icon used to look like a, just an old tv holy shit i feel old dude this was this feels like it wasn't even that long ago either wow insane fly me to the moon <laughs> want to know what's so good about this game i'll give you a few seconds anime girls you done yeah yeah it's better than angry birds yeah, that's right. Anime that girls. boring game where you shoot chickens at trees got nothing. That, God. that don't got shit on small jetpack Kiana. And don't take it from me. Take it from the real Pikachu who said, and I quote, get if you like anime. Okay. Well, shit. This game is surprisingly fun. It has four worlds, each with an okay amount of levels. My one gripe I have with this game is the price. I Oh god, how much did they charge for it, dude? Felt like it's a little too much, but if you like anime, you will like this game. Also, I didn't get bored with this game, which like Angry Birds, and I wanted to finish and get all three stars. Okay. Well, you heard it here, boy. And there you have it. There it is. Well, how you know, much was it? First game ever created managed to beat Angry Birds, but then I was like, wondering, four stars? Which got me thinking. How much uh -huh. did this game cost that even Pika, <laughs> Pika Wika was like... It can't be more than like five bucks, right? I mean, for, for an old iPhone game, like for, maybe, I, I would say 10 max, but five, five no. bucks. Well, reading some of the reviews, it was like three dollars. Yeah, was, that's, that's, that's nothing, dude. Someone even said that they'll buy the game even if it was five dollars. Yeah. You know what that means? Fly me to the moon. Is the best mobile game of 2011. Was Angry Birds free? I don't remember, chat. Was Angry Birds a free mobile game? I think it was free, right? But you could buy extra lives and stuff, like a gacha, basically. Free with paid DLC. Mm-hmm. Fantastic. Big W for Behelio that year as an indie developer. No, it, it was. I played Angry Birds and I never fucking bought it. <laughs> so it must have been free. Their first game was made by five people. Wow. That's one more than Pikachu's review. So, uh, the year <laughs> back to 2012, Mihoyo, third in the tournament, and their first game being objectively better than Angry Birds. Mm -hmm. They looked towards creating another game, but this time they weren't some random indie game dev from China. Oh, this is going to be Gun Girl Z, right? China, but a random official indie game dev from China. This was the year Mihoyo was formally incorporated and they had taken a deal with Sky Moby, oh? which is a publisher in China who hosts your games through their own app store. The deal. Oh, you know, we give you 150,000 USD, just a little bit of money, in exchange for a 15% stake in the company. So, having to deal with the sudden... Ooh. Ooh, wait a minute. Oh, this hurts to even think about. If they accepted this, dude, whoever fucking Sky Moby is, they just got the best deal of their damn lives. Is that bad, considering how big Mahoyo is now? They, if, the, if that is the case, if they get a 15% stake in the entirety of Hoyaverse or Mahoyo for 150k, then yeah, it's fucking bad. You gotta think about it that way. That's huge, dude. 15% of Hoyaverse now is mi millions upon millions upon millions. Maybe, maybe even tens of millions, hundreds of millions. I, I, I don't know. For a 15% stake in the company. Buying that for 150k? I mean, they clearly saw the vision, but did they take it for 15%? That's only value in the company at 1.5 mil, right? So, having if, to deal with no the less. sudden investment into their new company, Mihoyo had to make their next game a banger, a slapper, a McDabber to oh not disappoint their investors. So, their next game will be called Zombie Gao Kawaii. <laughs> I thought it was Gun Girl Z. Wait, what is Zombie Gao Kawaii? <laughs> it's an interesting name. Wait, actually? The game was not that successful. <laughs> Mihoyo had to do something quick because their situation was not kawaii. Oh, 2013 no. was the shittiest year for Mihoyo. Their oh, first man. game as an official company flopped and the team was living off a salary of 620 USD. Wow. You wanna know what their ex-schoolmates were earning? About triple, quadra, penta times their own earnings. Oh Time man. running out. Money that sucks. running out. Anime girls not running out. Can I just say though, I think... So here's the thing, Chan. You know the games that have had super tragic stories in the past i think they end up being the best games there is because it's got so much of a person's actual heart in it 
So I don't know if you all know the story of like Final Fantasy, right? But the first Final Fantasy was supposed to be the final game. It was supposed to be the final Square Enix game because they were going under. And it was unironically the series that revamped everything that they could possibly do. It was insane. And I, I feel like this is a on a smaller scale probably, but it's like a it's a similar kind of thing, you know? Now there's like fucking 20 Final Fantasies. <laughs> but MiHoYo would spend this whole year developing their next game hoping for a miracle because they're gonna need it Man. let me ask you a question uh-huh what would you do if you were in an apocalyptic world and all of your friends got turned into zombies good question i would cut their arms off put them on chains cut their jaws off and walk them around like michonne from the walking dead or actually, I just get bit. Honestly, I think I try survive for as long as I could, but then when I was ready to go, I I just let one of them take a little nibble. I'd rather see what it's like to be a zombie than just die straight away. It sounds kind of cool, dude. Well, obviously, you would open up the App Store or Play Store, Android Rise Up, no, and you would play Gun Girl Z. Okay, maybe they basically took the budget of Zombie Gal Kawaii oh. and maxed it out. Oh. Graphics max. MiHoYo's team size increase. Voice acting. <laughs> Wait, did they increase it by one? That looked kind of funny. Hold on. Max. It's big Mihoyo's for a five-person team. Going from five to six is still big, but it just looked funny. Team size increase. Six. Voice acting? Where? Cute anime oh. girls? We do a little bit of cloning. Their Holy. budget could use some maxing. This game was the make or break for MiHoYo. They had spent almost all their investment funds and years developing the game that if it went the same fate as Zombie Gal Kawaii, this might be their last year. This is the Final Fantasy story, holy dude. But it wasn't. The debut of Hokai Gakuen 2 in China saw it ranked number one and number nine for the App Store's paid game and popular game, respectively. Easy wow. Clap. Wait, that's there... massive. That's actually huge, unironically. Other servers, such as The Sea and Global, weren't doing too bad as well. Wow. Their reason for success? Anime titties. Well, they were making an otaku game so girls are important said one of the founders <laughs> the i'm just gonna dude the founders are based the concept of They're hcg based. was blowing up in They're china based. around this time i guess the market for cute anime girls wasn't really a thing yet over there wow they really missed out you want to know another yeah. reason for hokai gakuin's two success <laughs> dude, gotcha should i even tell you it should be pretty obvious by now right the gacha time. Yeah, of course. Negative 4,000 BC. D we asked ourselves why we would want a kid. It's because we love a certain virtual character that we become willing to pay for her. Okay. My guy was changing the Chinese mobile game meta at the time. Dude, he's a, he's a, he's a meta constructor. That's insane. The meta at the time was gamers being ranked one gamers outperforming each other gamers Among being at the top of the leaderboard sports. but father liu a man with god and anime on his Liu-ay. side came into the scene filled with sweaty tryhards and gave everyone a cute anime girl because instead of fighting for rank one why can't we all be rank one hey what up youtube True, squad dude. i managed to teleport back into 2014 to try out this new game called uh i think it was called gun girl z Gun I think this is a game made by Rovio Entertainment, so let's check it out. Huh? Ignore the Chinese spyware harvesting my data. <laughs> First, I'm gonna go download the game so I can play it. So okay. we're gonna go into the App Store, search Gun Girl Z, and uh, uh, there it is. Yeah, we're gonna click on it to download so we Honkai can download Honkai Gorkan. Gorkan. 4,000 times speed. Ain't no way, dude. Oh my god. No way! Okay, guys, I'm back after finishing the whole Lore of the Rings any minute now. <laughs> Why am I getting achievements? Well, 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 what do we have here? Kiana returns once again. Woo woo! I will not be a friend of you. <laughs> For a game made in 2014, it's actually not that bad. I mean, it's better than Angry Bird. I just realized I'm a two year old shooting zombies to find my lost dad. Meanwhile, there's a fucking alien with a hair. Yeah, Unknown God. That actually looks like Unknown God. The bat! Iconic, dude. This game is really relaxing. Oh shit, here we go, guys. The real gotcha. Let's see. If I Yo, that's a uh, Welkin lady. 
I'm gonna pull some crazy five stars. Wait, also kind of looks like the the Star Rail person actually. Look at this. Oh shit. That looks like the the uh, different version of the Star Rail character that we saw in that one trailer, dude. It's like a Terry Terry uh, lookalike, but also the Star Rail character, a hundred percent. You remember at the beginning of that weird trailer that we got, Black Swan? Yeah, a hundred percent. Like definitely, that is the closest reference to that character that we have, at all. Wow, that's cool. Here we go, guys. The real gotcha. Let's see if I'm gonna pull some. The Myriad crazy Celestia trailer, stars. yeah. What? A nurse outfit. No. All right, guys. I think I'm done with this game. I'm going to go buy my account so I don't lose my progress. Hopefully, it's not something like Facebook only. That would ruin my experience. <laughs> Three years. <laughs> 150 million United States dollars. Seven people. <laughs> Wait, brother. You're telling me a team of six netted 150 million US dollars? Whoa, that's ins seven people still seven people. That's insanity, dude. Million United States dollars. Wow. Seven people. Over three years, which is still a lot. It's still a ton. Yeah. With their new success, Wonder, thank you. moved on to their next game. Honkai Impact 3rd. Now, hear me out here, chat. I think Honkai Impact 3rd was an absolutely massive success, right? Like, for, I, I know Genshin is the biggest success, but when Honkai Impact 3rd came out, wasn't it like a massive success at the time for, for the industry at that point? Can I say something real quick? Sure. As a person who has never played any games made by MiHoYo... What? Akashot? This was before Akashot played any of the Hoyo games? No shot, dude. Before Genshin? Before Genshin, never mind. This shit is like the next fate. I'm fucking dying right now. You got my ass jumping around with all these versions that are very similar, but not really. Like, for example. I thought it was the third game. That's the only Honkai. No, Gun Girl Z was also called Honkai Gorkudan or something, right? I think it's weird, but it was the third game. It was the third my game. My ass jumping around with all these versions that are very similar, but not really. Like, for example, Gakuen. <clears throat> no, no, no. Honkai Impact 3rd. Honkai Impact 3. Honkai 3rd. Honkai Gakuen 2, Honkai 2nd, Guns Girl, Honkai Gakuen, Guns Girl, School Day Z, Gun Girl Z, yeah. Mirage Cabin, Guns Girl Z, Escape Ragnarok, Zombie nice. Gal Kawaii, Electric Boogle, Zombie Gal Kawaii, Honkai Gakuen 1, and Fly Me to the Moon. Nice. These are just four games. Oh, it was literally just the names were different. The games were the same. Yeah, this is some Nomura levels of gaming. This is Genshin Impact 2, part 3. This is Genshin Impact 182 over 5. Is this MiHoYo or is this Type Moon? I don't know. Honestly, I could just add some name related to school or zombie and it would look like a MiHoYo game. <laughs> like, let's see. High School of Dead, the end of school. Wait, isn't High School of the Dead an anime? Wait a minute. Hokai Gakuen 2, formerly known as who is in charge? Ain't no way. Wait, formerly known as High School of Dead, the end of school. Hokai Gakuen 2, formerly known as who is in charge of naming all these games? This guy? I feel. I really hope it's the way, dude. I think it's hilarious. I think it's. I think it's funny. I feel like there's so many different thingies for the same thingies. I could make like multiple theories about all the universes in this but game. But that's just a game theory. Hokai True. Impact Third. Did good. Very I'm good, right? One million downloads in Japan 11 days after release. Good. Although the game was released in 2016, it wouldn't be available globally until 2018. Wow. Oh, actually, this is a good point. Is this why uh, Global's updates are so far behind? I know it's not that far behind, but is that why? Because, like, I, is Global still catching up? I guess is the right question to ask. Will, will Honkai ever have updates where Global and CN get updates at the same time? We're behind by one patch. Global behind by one patch. Hmm, that's interesting. Yeah, probably not. Okay, that's that's good to know, though. So what happened here? Uh... Oh. Oh, is this where they started to make Genshin? Shit. Buckle like 2017? This. It's gonna be a long one. Wow, 2017. The development of Genshin began in late Gen. Yo, look at the first character shown here. Listen, I'm not one to pick favorites, okay? But I'm just gonna say... It's gonna be a long one. The Fucking based. Fucking based, dude. Whoever this guy is, if they're designing Deluke, I would like to, to offer him my biggest wishes of just 
Good luck in everything you ever do in life, because holy shit, he is so fucking cool. Development of Genshin began in late January 2017. The team had grown from seven people to 120. Jesus! Oh, but like, they did make one, 150 million. <laughs> 400. Wait, why is Dr. Phil at the corner? At the end of the year. The cost to make this game was 100 million USD. Jesus fucking Christ, dude. That's an inconceivable amount of money. That's more than this. And this. And these. You guys know Zelda, right? <laughs> June 2019. E3. MiHoYo revealed to the world their next game called Genshin Impact. Mm -hmm. I am here. <sighs> no. Is this guy doing okay now, by the way? I know this guy... Didn't he go through, like... A bad time. He was in like a couple YouTube thing, I think, and and he went on a pretty bad path. But is he good now? He was always cool. I always really liked him. He's okay. Prank versus prank. Yeah, I hope he's okay now. To talk about Genshin Impact. Naturally, gamers were very supportive, wholesome, and excited for this game to come out. Mm -hmm. As a matter of fact, one gamer was so excited that on a sunny day he decided to wake up. Drive to the PlayStation booth promoting Genshin Impact at China Joy, and he uh slammed his PS4 into the ground. <laughs> Who is the Who's the guy at the back, dude? Bro, my man up here looks like he wants to rip his fucking guts out. Jesus Christ! <laughs> Hey, I'd be pissed as well. Why are you wasting fucking money like that? Do you just not like... I'm very confused about why you'd go out of your way with your own PS4 to drive it just to break it in front of a bunch of people that are excited about something. It seems very fucking weird and cringe. But this guy looks so pissed. I would be dude. Uh, What happened? At China Joy, why? And he uh, slammed why? his PS4 into the ground. For what? Oh. I guess his day wasn't so... Sony, after all. <laughs> he wasn't the only guy, by the way. Gamers were mad. Wait, he was a Breath of the Wild fan? <laughs> You're fucking kidding me. <laughs> hey, wait till he finds out uh, Breath of the Wild wasn't the first game to do a cartoony open world game. Holy shit. Wow. That's funny. What a waste of money over being a salty little kid. That's really so funny. Really mad at MiHoYo and Sony for copying breath of the wild oh and while the expo received a lot of hate from gamers uh -huh. online was even worse oh god get your hazmat wait what was the light to dislike ratio online we don't see this anymore with youtube unless you go an extension and worse that's not even that bad i mean it's bad but i thought it'd be a lot worse get your hazmat suits and brace yourselves we're entering chernobyl levels of radiation oh no uh-oh <coughs> shit. The air in here smells like dog shit. How could anyone live in here? Who is it? Anyway, <coughs> as I was saying, a lot of gamers, especially on China's end, were just radioactive. I looked through some of the Weibo comments about the PS4 Genshin announcement, and uh, I could feel my chair slowly turning into salt from all of the tears coming from these gamers. Wait, so the CN community were were more pissed than the global community about the uh, the fact that Genshin took inspiration from Breath of the Wild? I ain't gonna cap it. I would have thought it would have been the complete opposite way around, dude. I would have thought it would have been the global side. Yes? Wow. Hate speech, family insults, that shit was everywhere. It gave me flashbacks to solo queue League of Legends. If there was one thing I learned about reading through these comments is that they could write essays. I can stop. Take the mask off. I can't hear you. About the gaming industry in China, but somehow still managed to insult my mother in three different ways. <laughs> Obviously, I'm not going to show it. And also, these messages were read with shitty translation, so it's not the most accurate. <laughs> Even if I don't understand Chinese completely, uh -huh. I kind of sensed that my whole family was being attacked. I am convinced that when you are this overdose on hate, you lose like 99% of your brain cells because someone accused Sony of their crimes for plagiarism when they didn't even make the game. Wait. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> oh, fucking brain dead. You've been pranked.
Now showing the Great War of Genshin's launch, Breath of the Wild versus Genshin fans. The following clip are real. I, now, I, I fully believe this happened as well, by the way, just as a heads up, because I I wasn't here for this, but what I was here for was uh, the, 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 the Game Awards. Um, and I saw just how deranged Sonic fans could be against Genshin fans. So, you know, I believe it. Jesus Christ. Because it was basically this, but all over again, dude. Because both communities just could not shut the fuck up. People, so basically, just as a heads up, people are getting very salty that, that uh, I think Genshin won it, right? Uh, Sonic fans are getting very salty, even though it was a community vote, a fan vote. So basically, it's very hard to do anything about. And uh, Sonic, Sonic botted their votes. The Sonic fans botted their votes... Uh, and the Game Awards obviously knew about it, and it's like, bro, if it's just a, if all it is is a fan-voted thing, then it's it's not bad that the number, one of the number one video games in the world, player-wise, beat Sonic. Sonic's a great game, but it, it don't have the most amount of fans nowadays, dude. It just doesn't. It's just a fact. It just don't. How many people do you see playing Whoa! Sonic? This new game looks so fun. I can't wait for it to come out and play it. Shut the fuck up, Timmy. Shut the fuck up, Timmy. Call me a breath of the wild. Did you know that we know you fuck my wife and so my- Well, listen up, you little shit. This is why I hate you, the Nintendo gamer, so much. You shut the Nintendo down everyone's throat and we never hear the end of it. You think every game is a masterpiece with no flaws? I think you should stick to your Mario games. That is one big thing with a lot of, uh, specifically Nintendo gamers, dude, that only play Nintendo games. They seem to think that their games have no problems at all, like, no issues whatsoever. And if you call an issue out, you are the worst person in the fucking world, dude. Worst person in the world. Wow, this new game looks so fun. True, it does. Like, Breath of the Wild was a fine game, however... One of the biggest issues I had with it was the weapons breaking 24 fucking 7, dude. It made it boring. It made it shit. It made it unplayable. Unless you you changed it on, like, emulated stuff. It's it's awful. And stop following me! I understand <laughs> that Genshin is very similar. Sometimes, you know, the the inspiration, maybe too much inspiration, but I'm struggling to I see think it is a lot of inspiration. anyone would I think it's fine. care this much. Nobody who's playing either of the games should care that much. If you care that much, it's a problem. And it's a problem that you got to deal with. Like, the, the, the game companies should care. And the people that, are, that, are, that are, have, like, stocks and stuff. But as a regular player of the games, you should not give this much of a damn. It's not like Breath of the Wild invented cell shading or rock climbing. And yeah, exactly. I feel like even, even if you're a Breath of the Wild fan, you would be pretty happy to know that you get to play a new game similar to your favorite game. But I don't know, maybe that's just me. <laughs> and also, Genshin is coming to the Switch. <laughs> okay, well, when? When is the question? Oh, no, 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 no. I know about that one, Chief. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, welcome to the strip club. Just as a heads up as well, by the way, that Hi. was, this video was, uh, they're already making fun of it here, and this video was a year ago. And they're still, uh, let me, let me, let me just, let me just check real quick. Yep, still not Genshin. Welcome to class. Still not Back Genshin. Back in 2019, June 25th, Mihoyo made a post detailing the production of this game. Not a lot of people know about this because, well, it's in Chinese, and this was before E3 and the PlayStation promotion. Oh. So I'm pretty sure only like five people saw this. I sacrificed two children to find this post. With as long as it wasn't true, it's okay. $2 translation. What the fuck? I was able to deduce that Company B is Bethesda in Chinese. Uh oh. Hey, you. you you're finally you awake. <laughs> Mihoyo modeled Genshin's quest system after looking at Fallout and Skyrim's quest system. Oh. Random world event took notes from random events in GTA. World exploration came. Random world events are kind of a kind of doo doo though. Came from Breath of the Wild. Basic combat from Hawkeye Third. Mm -hmm. Naughty Dogs because why not? And elemental combat was from Divinity Original Sin Two. Interesting. I never knew that. That's actually pretty cool. I never knew that. I didn't know Divinity Original Sin had elemental combat. It's pretty cool. This is literally very from cool. the production team who designed Genshin Impact. So yes, Mihoyo officially stated that they used Breath of the Wild to model the world of Genshin. Mm -hmm. 
Which I, I, one hundred million dollars. That's the cost to make Genshin. Yes. They made that back in two weeks. <laughs> I think it was successful. I didn't think it'd be that successful. Bro, it took them it took them three years to get 150 mil with, with Honkai Impact. They made a hundred mil in two weeks. <laughs> Brother. What? It's an infinite money glitch. <laughs> That's insanity. Genshin gave Hoyo net income of 2.2 billion in 2022. Nintendo overall had 2.7. <laughs> something else. Holy shit. I'm sorry. I, I, I'm kind of trying to process 100 mil in two weeks. Venti is hot. What could you do? You ain't wrong. You ain't wrong. I mean... Wow. That's Pokemon impressive. Go. You guys know Pokemon? We uh -huh. like Pokemon. Yeah, you, you Pokemon's remember great. remember when that game came out? Uh -huh. Everyone and their grandma knew about it. What do you think it's named? I don't know. A strawberry. You would go outside <laughs> and try to collect all these Pokemans to one up your friends. By the way, chat. So this <laughs> a strawberry uh, thumbnail guy who makes my YouTube thumbnails is planning something where he, because he knows a lot of Pokemon and stuff, likes Pokemon, and now knows a lot of Genshin characters. I'm the only Genshin content creator that he does thumbnails for, but he wanted to do something, which I think would be really fun, where he merges a Pokemon and a Genshin character together. And me and chat have to guess what the what the two that are mixed together is. Like, in the, in the looks of them, so, like, maybe, like, a... a, a Blastoise with a bow and it's Yelan or something. Like, something cool, but, like, drawing them all himself, because he's really good at art and stuff. Uh, so that'll be really fun to do. It's going to take a while to do, and, and I, I'm going to need to pay him for it, because it's a lot of art, but I think it'll be a lot of fun. It'll be very cool to do. Cursed? It'll be so cursed. It'll be fucking hilarious, though. It'll be so funny. Vaporeon has got to be in it. Maybe with Eula. Very we'll see. You would go outside and try to collect all these Pokemans to one-up your friends. True. I've never played this game. It took nine <laughs> months for po Wait, he never played Pokemon? I don't know in real life, like, a single person that has not played Pokemon. I've never played this game. It took That's nine months for Pokemon Go to hit one billion. Genshin took six. These figures that I'm talking about did not include sales from PC or console. Let that sink in. Wait, brother. Ex fucking excuse me? Wait, there's absolutely no shot. Go to hit one billion. It took ten months for 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 Pokemon Go to hit one billion. Nine months, sorry. Genshin took. Genshin hit a billion in six months, using only mobile revenue. That's fucking disgusting. Six. These figures that I'm talking about did not include sales from PC or console. Let that sink in. A billion dollary dues on this I hello kitty island adventure i don't even know anyone who plays on mobile correction <laughs> i don't know anyone at all mihoyo is a very successful game oh. and i'm sure that a lot of people i'm pretty sure most of the player base is on mobile right people can see how much effort went into this game there were some interesting uh controversies that i did not cover in this video but i can't deny that genshin has given me so much hours of entertainment. Wouldn't gliding be a gotcha game. Yeah, it would be. Anime waifu printer had a budget that rivals triple A game developers. Like Mihoyo is not the best company, but at least they don't recycle the same game annually and change the title to the current year. This is so true, but also like you look at these as well. Sure, Mihoyo is not a perfect company, but you think EA is? <laughs> You think EA's a perfect company, dude? You think Ubisoft's perfect? Holy shit, tell me the last time they had a release that was not bugged. And Rockstar... I don't know anything bad about Rockstar, honestly. Apart from they take fucking ages to, uh... <laughs> to, to fucking release new games. <laughs> or at least the, the one game that everybody's wanted. Honkai Star Rail has grossed over 129 mil as of June 28th. Jesus Christ, that's still a lot. Here, the CEO of Mihoyo had the vision. He saw the untapped market of paying for yep. anime characters back in 2014. In 2014, I was doing fuck off. We came from this? <laughs> what was I doing in 2014? I was probably playing Skyrim. Chat, when did Skyrim come out? To this, the way better game. If you want to thank anyone, thanks. Oh my God, a resin. Holy fucking shit, we've come full circle. Small jetpack Kiana. Wait, 
Did you see that? Yeah, resin. Wait, hold up. Go back real quick. It was a resin. Wait, the resin, right? Yeah. What was that? It was resin. Enhanced. <gasps> Holy shit. This was here the whole time? Hold the phone. I'm holding it. Let's see here. Fly I'm me holding to it. the moon. Fuck. <laughs> Wait, what is this? Poles? Poles champ? Okay. September Genshin 28, 2011. <gasps> oh my. Oh my god. The. The. the... No shot. The people who made Genshin are the same people who made Fly Me to the Moon. Coincidence? Well, I think not. What? Hello there. Hi. Thanks for making it all the way to the end of the video. Before yeah. you say anything, I know Mihelio has another game called Theories of Temis. Yeah. Where you date hot dudes. Yes. I just can't be fucked. Fair. I've been working on this video for the past months and I'm currently dead inside Understandable. anyways hope you enjoyed the video before the music runs out yeah thank you you're welcome for uh 50k subs oh hell yeah. a lot to me that you guys watch this dumbass shit it's not dumbass shit it's really Take well care. made actually incredibly well made sorry i like to watch till the end chat i know it helps the youtube algo the youtube algorithm is a fucking beast in of itself and watching till the end definitely helps a lot of the time uh that was fucking incredible dude that was a great video here is the link to it make sure you go give it a like uh subscribe to akashot as well almost 100k now dude it's almost 100k now it's pretty sick